Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Heaven's on Fire, and our scripture is 2 Peter chapter 3. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will disappear in fire, and the earth and everything on it will be found to deserve judgment. Since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, what holy and godly lives you should live, looking forward to the day of God and hurrying it along. On that day, he will set the heavens on fire and the elements will melt away in the flames. But we are looking forward to the new heavens and new earth, he has promised, a world filled with God's righteousness. We are extremely near the end of time for year number 2020, but that's nothing compared to the end of time for time. And the comparison is the same for the events of both 2020 and the events that will flood God's day of judgment. 2020 has been more than challenging, but judgment day will have no parallel in its consequences. Peter's description of the heavens on fire and the elements melting away in the flames pictures a conflagration the size of which is unimaginable. For those who are unsure of what the future holds, this is a painful, dangerous thought to entertain. It's not just the matter of death or some pain, but the unknowable future. What if there really is life following this existence? What if God really does hold us humans accountable? What if? Well, the what if is a certainty for those who know Jesus Christ as Lord, says the big fisherman Peter, and we look forward to the new heavens and earth that God has promised, a world filled with God's righteousness. So, preacher, when will all this take place? Have you got a prediction like that nutcase standing on the street corner downtown waving his sign? No, I don't have a sign, and God has not chosen to tell us the ETA on our GPS. But what God has chosen to tell us is to be prepared so when it does happen, we won't be like those surprised and losing all hope of eternity. There are those who argue that since it hasn't happened for thousands of years, it's not a concern for this week or even their lifetime. But that's just a matter of biblical ignorance. Peter tells us that God is not a slave to clocks or calendars. God is on his own schedule. And the reason for this time of awaiting Christ's return is God's patience. God wants all humans to be saved, sins forgiven, souls secured for eternity. But the very mention of judgment of the heavens on fire is that there are those who reject and will continue to reject God's offer of forgiveness. God is patiently waiting, but that will end at some point. Frankly, if you die before the Lord returns, Scripture tells us there will be resurrection day. And more precisely, there will be two resurrections. The first resurrection will be of those who died faithfully believing in Christ. The second resurrection is for those who rejected the offer of salvation by simply refusing to confess their sins and the fact that they are estranged from their Creator. Listen to how the Apostle John describes that first and second resurrection. Revelation chapter 20. And I saw a great white throne and the one sitting on it. The earth and sky fled from his presence, but they found no place to hide. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne. And the books were opened, including the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all were judged according to their deeds." 
Then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This lake of fire is the second death, and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. For you today, the promises of God in Scripture, not what you feel or think is right, but God's Word, are certain. Some are difficult to hear, such as Judgment Day. But that is only so if you haven't accepted Christ. To those who have, the promises are life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.